The last video I did on the fall camp, um, I talked about a little bit about some of the gear that I have there. Uh, I'll go a little bit more in depth with some of that stuff I have because people always like to see the gear. They always like to talk about it. They always ask me questions about it. So, uh, and I'm always into buying new gear, trying new stuff out. So I, I like gear videos. I think they're fun. Some people don't. Hey, whatever. I'm doing this one. So to start off with a couple of products from Lester River Bushcraft. Uh, one thing that I've had for quite some time, he makes these pads. It's just a kneeling pad. And I know it looks unassuming and a oh, big deal is a kneeling pad, but it works great for a lot of different things. Number one, it's heavy duty Kodura. Um, I can use it to fan my fire. Obviously I can kneel on it. I can do other things with it. Another cool thing about it is if you don't care, uh, if you don't feel like carrying the extra piece of foam that's in there, you can just carry the Kodura bag. Okay, I can stuff it with leaves, I can do whatever else with it, or I can just kneel on this just to keep me off the wet ground, put my Firecraft in. Now, I've also got a bag. I can carry Firecraft prep in it. I can actually use it. It's got two or four tie-outs on it for 550 cord. Now I can use it for a pack. So there's lots of different uses. I love multi-use, multi-purpose items. So uh, Lester River Bushcraft makes these. These are pretty cool. Check him out. He also just came out with a new product, a couple new ones, and this is one of them. And it is, if you liked his boreal wool shirt, his hoodie, then you're going to love the, uh, um, the new poncho that he came out with here. Same material, same wool. Uh, it's got a lot of different options to it. It's very cool. As you can see, uh, I'll do a whole new video on this too, but I want to use it some more uh, so I can talk about more of the options with it down the road. Great big hood on it. Nice big pocket. Put, put your hands in. It's got sleeves you can run your arms through. It's got tie outs all the way around it, which actually tie out to a number of different ponchos, including GI ponchos and ponchos from like Bushcraft Outfitters and other places. So heavy, yes. Cool factor, very high. Um, quality workmanship on this thing too. So take a look at those. Pretty cool. Uh, talking about ponchos, Bushcraft outer, Outfitters. Still nylon, enhanced mess. It's a little bit bigger than a GI poncho. Um, it has webbing sewn all the way around it, two-way snaps, reduced profile tabs. It has a special stitch piece of material that goes around the inside of it, so you don't even have to seam seal it. It channels all the water out. Uh, I've had really good luck with mine in rainstorms, and other people have too. Uh, you can snap these together in a several different configurations. Did a plow point video with it. A great piece of gear, super lightweight, goes great with that. Snowy, wet, crappy weather. Put that underneath this, you're golden. I guarantee it, it's a good deal. So lots of different options with this. One of my new newest pieces of gear is a sweet little lantern from Primus. All right, it runs off these uh, uh, little gas, uh, propane, isobutane con containers. Come on, baby. No, she won't go. Oh. Turn it down a little bit. Hmm. Nice. I wonder if I banged her around too much. Well, let's see if we can get her to go another way. Yeah, that little flipper works great. There we go. More than one way to skin a cat, right? But, very cool. Little lantern, has cable that comes off of it. Uh, steel cage, so I'm really digging it. I had it in a shelter uh, last class I taught uh, for 88 Tactical, really cool. I don't know why that little freaking light thing didn't work now. Hmm, there it goes, anyway. Pretty cool. More work to do with that though, obviously, right? But it's a cool piece of kit. Um, the knife you just saw me strike this fire steel with, uh, Brian Sargent made this for me. It's a nice little lightweight customs, custom. Um, man, it's 01. I had him put uh, a lightweight wood handle on it, wrapped it with jute. I'll do a video on it too. Uh, super light, super comfortable. And it comes with, or I, I, I have a, a sheath from, um, Sagewood Gear, uh, Jason Gustad at, uh, um, in Minnesota. 
and super solid cool piece of gear it's made so you can actually wrap cord around it uh, dangler on it and put your fire seal on it very cool uh trusty old baco laugh lander right kind of hard to go wrong with them billion billion videos out there everybody uses them uh some people like the silkies i have one of those too but i've broken silkies before too and i've never broken one of these so pretty cool piece of kit heavy cover spork I did a whole video on this, still carry it, still love it, still a piece of gear that goes with me in the field every time. It's a spoon, it's a fork, it's got some other stuff to it, awesome piece of kit. Uh, I got a cool new little, uh, it's like a, a Swiss Army Trekker type knife, but it, it's a German military and it has a saw on it, one handed opening and some other little doodads on it. But uh, I got this from Andy at uh, Five Coal Survival over at Bushcraft USA cool cool little knife uh, i'm going to work with it a little bit more like i said i haven't worked with it much but uh got a nice big saw on it very neat fun to fun to screw around with that's that little bag that's that's a that primus bag comes with this heavy duty cordura bag pretty nice another go-to piece of kit that i don't go to the woods without is going to be my mother canteen carrier and my heavy cover uh titanium mess kit i got the canteen i got the the lid, the cup, it's all in here. It's a nice, neat little kit. Um, use crap out of it. Beat it up every day. People say, why you pay so much for something like that? Because I like it. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It works good. It's going to last forever. And uh, I like it. So I got different stuff in here in these pouches. I got one of these rats tourniquets from uh, RE Factor. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I think I'd probably use it more for a canine than a human. Um, I'd, I like the cat tourniquets a little bit better than these from uh, North American Rescue, but uh, it's still an option to have with you. So another great little piece of kit on the outside of there. And last but not least, my favorite, uh, Wetterling's Axe. I've had this about seven years now. It's never failed me. I keep it heavily linseed oiled. I keep it razor sharp. Um, it's a great, great axe. I would never get rid of it. This is one of those things that, that, that I've gotten rid of knives over the years. I've gotten rid of, you know, shelter systems. I've gotten rid of all kinds. This is something I won't get rid of. I guarantee it. It'll always be with me. So a great piece of kit. kit. So anyway, that's some old gear, some new gear. Uh, and it's all going to be going to the woods with me this fall.